Hello, this is Myra Elaine from the Fine Space Channel. Today I'm doing a mail call. This first package here is from Two Hip Chicks, Don and Mary, and they have this lovely thank you sticker on there. I don't know which direction to go. And here we have a package from Randy. And I think this is the first time I bought from Randy. There's thank you uh, stamp on the sign. So she's got rubber stamps. Very nice box. And then we have a package from Personal. And I talked about Personal <laughs> when I got the shipping label from Personal. But then I asked somebody. It's got, it's marked fragile. Um. And they told me who this was. And that is from Dana, Glenma's Closet. So if you ask around, you can find out stuff. So then I wasn't so worried anymore because I trust Glenma's. And this is to Jessica Freeman. And this is probably OTC related. Sometimes I do OTC unboxing, sometimes I don't. And this package is from Two Old Guys Vintage and Resale. That's Mark and Michael. And here I have a package from Colleen Lyons. I'm excited to open that one. And here we have a package from Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller. It's a beautiful purple package. Okay, sounds like nothing's broken. I know there's a glass in there, that's why I'm a little worried. And here we have another package from Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller. He has a post office box, but look what they did. They crushed this. Uh, so when I unbox this or un envelope this, I will talk about um, the crushing of that package. So in order to get the rest of it up here, I'm going to have to rearrange all of it because it's uh, quite a haul today. This will probably be... I'm sorry to say my last big mail call haul because I've had problems with the post office. Now today, other than having a, a crushed package that could have been done anywhere along the mail stream, um, the pickup was very pleasant and nice. The gentleman that helped me was very nice and polite to me. Uh, he did take other customers in front of me and call up another clerk. But given the amount of packages I have, I understand that. See, if people are understanding towards you, uh, you're more likely to be understanding towards them. And he was very polite about everything. And I kind of teased him a little after we got it all in the trunk. I looked at him. I said, is that all of it? Like, you know. <laughs> And he looked at me weird, and I said, it doesn't seem like that much. <laughs> but that's my sense of humor. I was very grateful that uh, he helped me. Okay. And then I have two more packages. And these are, oh, my Lord. Oh, this is from... Tooch Man. And this is a small box, but it is packed and it is heavy. And then we have another box. Mm. From Two Old Guys Vintage and Resale. And it's the same size, but it's lighter. Uh, and uh, I'm just exhausted uh, from doing this. And um, some of the postal workers have been less than polite to me. So um, I haven't ordered 
anything sent to my post office box. I had uh, one package. That's too heavy. I'm not going to lift it again. I had one package delivered to an alternative address uh, since I had the unpleasantness of the, at the post office I had at the last mail hall or the one before. And I paid one invoice behind that. And I've got two people or three people now uh, that uh, I have invoices for. I got an email this week from someone who got a return package that they had sent me in 2022. And this had also happened uh, with uh, Tracy Cakes. Um, I had uh, a package returned that was sent to me, proper address, everything was right. Um, and I told her, I said, after like, a month I told her I said I hadn't received the package and she's like well I sent it are you calling me a liar I'm like no I'm not calling you a liar other things could happen and other things had happened and the post office put it on the return desk even though no one had filed a forwarding address and they did this with like five of my packages well, I got an email this week from somebody who had gotten another one of those five return packages some of them may have been returned and, you know, people didn't contact me and say this has been returned. So I'm working out right now what to do with her package and everything by email. Um, and uh, it's just that I'm subjugated to random people's passive aggressive behavior. I mean, it's just like everything else. The majority of people are nice. And then you get one or two that are passive aggressive that do things like put your packages on the forwarding desk when there's no forwarding on file just because they don't like you for some reason. And then, you know, two weeks ago, approximately, when the clerk tried to extort me into purchasing a larger post office box and then their supervisor called and they told a bunch of lies on top of continuing to try to extort me to get a larger post office box but I didn't see those ladies today and the gentleman that helped me was really nice so maybe they've handled that maybe they got a transfer maybe they just both happened to have the day off today I don't know but and you know I don't really wish them any harm it was bad of them to try to extort money out of me because um, I don't know if you've heard of the progress trap it's a documentary and they start off with a story of a buffalo herd and cavemen and the cavemen would it was mastodons they would run a mastodon off a cliff in the fall every year so that they would have meat for the winter and they would have fur from the cloth of the, the skin and they would have all the other parts the teeth and everything else that they would use and they would use their resources wisely and they would use all the parts of the mastodon to survive the winter. Well, the uh, caveman population grew a little and they figured out that there wouldn't be enough for everyone. So there was a, ma a caveman genius and he figured out a way to herd three mastodons off the cliff. So that winter they had plenty. And they stopped using some of the things they used to use because they had plenty. So then the next year, they were like thinking of all the meat they had the winter before and how wonderful it was. So some genius caveman figured out how to run the entire herd of mastodons over the cliff. And they did so. And they had they feasted every day and they had plenty and everybody had furs and everybody had what they wanted. But they had a lot more waste. So some of the stuff went to waste. But the next winter, they had no mastodons left. So I feel like what that clerk did to me is like a progress trap. I only have so much expendable income. And I know I get a lot of packages but I get all this stuff at a very great discount. These resellers are really cranking out um, 
items for people to buy really wonderful prices given the economy and all. So I guess these people think that I'm rich. They probably think that I'm paying regular retail for this stuff, and I'm not. So anyway, if they force me to go to a larger post office box, then I won't need it because I won't have the money to buy the products they're saying that are coming in that they say I need it for. If they force me to pay them $500 to $1,000 a month for window service, I will no longer have any money to buy groceries, much less anything at auction. And that could kill us. I'm not changing my address because all of my mail and everything goes to that post office box for the entire family. And to have to change everything. I mean, if I got a larger post office box to avoid all that work that I may or may not catch, I may or may not do, I would have to. I mean, on a regular day, all my first class letters getting in my first class box instead of somebody above me or below me is a miracle. I'm not going to trust that they're going to take it, the all the mail addressed to that small post office box and put it in a larger post office box. So I would have to get a larger post office box in addition to the post office box I have now. I can't afford that. So if I do afford that, if I would allow them to pressure me into doing that, which is extortion, um, then I wouldn't have any money to buy any packages, to have any packages sent to me. And when I talked to them, I said, you know, I'm paying for the postage for all these packages. I'm supporting these small businesses. So I hope it's the last I hear of it. But I have stopped. After I had that conversation with them, I had invoices that I paid that day. I got three invoices out. And then I've got the one uh, that was returned that's going to be returned back to me. And then there are a couple still in the mail stream. But other than that, I'm not going to be at the auctions buying stuff because of the situation with the post office. And they're not going to make the money um, from these packages being mailed because um, I feel I'm disabled and I feel very vulnerable when I go to the post office. And um, now that I've been harassed there more than several times, I'm not comfortable with it. And I can't not get my first class mail. And I don't want to change all those addresses. So I'm just going to be getting um, a few things here and there at alternative addresses. And um, that's going to be uh, the end of my auction fun time. Now, I do have unboxings out until uh, 2025. And if I've done an unboxing for you, I would appreciate you come and watch the unboxing videos that I've done. I've got playlists now for Auction with Friends, East Coast Resellers, which this would be, um, Tooch Man will be under East Coast Resellers. That's just the way I grouped uh, them. Um, home Day Auction. So if you've sold on Johnny's Home Day Auction as a regular or as a guest, uh, your uh, unboxing or un enveloping video will probably be there. And uh, I think I said auction with friends. And that's uh, Victoria and Trish and Marion Hilton and DD from Virtual Shopkeeper DD. And uh, now Mike, January House, and sometimes Donna Fredericks, Fredericks, but she's also been on East Coast Resellers. So for the most part, I'm going to put Donna under auction with friends until otherwise noted. So, uh, but I'm going to be organizing my videos and I'm going to still be publishing them out until next year. So, uh, I have plenty of content and I can focus on my Bible readings and my slice of life type videos, but I'm still going to be doing unboxings and I'll be working on thumbnails and I'll be working on schedules at, to improve how the unboxings are presented. 
and maybe I'll have the time to get into some kind of production and other things. Uh, I'll still be in the community, I'll still be around, but it's going to be a rare occasion that I'm buying anything at the auction anymore. And um, I'll talk more about it later, but uh, I've got plenty of unboxings to do now, and i still got some incoming packages, but I'm kind of winding things up with it because of uh, the level of service, delivery service I'm receiving is uh, kind of scary to me now. Um, I don't like people to try to force my hand on anything, and it's not polite. It's not constitutional in my opinion, but, you know, I'm not ready to seek legal advice. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's weird. The post office was trying to force me to pay more money to get a larger box, but since I'm not going to have heavy packages like this shipped to me anymore, they're losing money because they did that to me. And I can always go to UPS and rent a box if, you know, it gets to the point where I'm completely um, done with editing <laughs> and I'm bored. I, I could go to UPS and rent a box, most definitely. So uh, you all have a wonderful and blessed day.